Okay guys, I have news to report. Today is the 28th of September. Yesterday, September 27th, 2022, I walked for the first time since my accident. Since January, oh God, the evening of January 8th, the morning of January 9th, unable to walk and today I walked no, yesterday <laughs> I walked and it was huge it was clunky it was clumsy it was scary oh my god was it scary but I did it and uh, and the fear was absolutely off the charts. I was freaking out, giving myself permission to fall down if, if necessary, to, um, to not, I don't know what I was afraid of at that point, but to fall down was the worst thing that could happen. I had to prepare myself to fall down in a safe position, a safe way, um, with So, I, I feel it's important to um, also mention how I did it, how I got over it, what I, what what my lead up was to it, in case it's helpful for anybody. Um, I was in the doorway, this door, with um, one of those hangers in the doorway, where you could do pull-ups, because I'm trying to get into that. I got shoulders to build before Halloween, right? And the thing is, every time I would let go and I'd be on the ground, I'd, I'd favor the right leg. The other one, I don't even know if it was touching the ground, and and then I would slowly put it down. And when I put it down, still holding onto the bars, go left and right, Nothing, to, nothing's going to happen if you're in that situation. You can't fall down while you're holding onto bars that are... Um, uh, uh, wedged into the door jam, right? So, with nothing to worry about, nothing to fear, I, I'm marching in place, I'm uh, making sure that I'm well into my prosthetic leg, and just feeling it out a bit. And for s some reason, that just gave me the sense that... my of, of what my weight how much my weight was a factor in being able to walk because i could be weightless and it'll feel a certain way i put my weight on it it feels another way it, and it just it, you know how you can get the physics in your brain you don't know what the actual numbers are for the physics but you get the physics in your brain for what has to be done. And, um, I, I want to say that that is the, the it factor. Hanging in the doorway, feeling it, moving around. Uh, and then I, I made my way to the restroom holding onto the walls the entire way. And then when I left the restroom, coming back to my room, it's um, approximately seven or eight feet. I had my hand on the doorway, or the, the, the wall actually, just the wall, very lightly. And then I decided, what if you just let go of the wall, don't touch the wall. And I'm sure I had my hands on all your house, but I was not touching the wall. And I just kept going, and it's like you did it. You can you did it once. You can do it again. You did it again once. Like you do it again. And of course, I'm saying these in words, but my brain is like you did it. You did it. You did it. And then it kept going and going, and scary as hell. Exhilarating. Scary as hell. And then, yeah, I made it to the end of the hallway, just past my door. 
and I about broke down crying. I was like, no assistance. If I fell, I could fall. If I had touched the wall again, that would be considered a failure. I didn't do that. And even though that's like, okay, you did it for like approximately three or four feet. Not a big deal. It's a huge deal. It it removes from the brain. It's like up until now, it's like it can't be done. It's this the the day where you're gonna be walking again is like a, a far off distant thing you're gonna to have to build up to it it's gonna be this non-climactic moment where you take every step that you've learned and you apply it and it's gonna be non um, a ho-hum experience yes and no yes because that is essentially what happened I took everything that I have learned everything that I know I applied it all at once. The thing is, that was not what was getting in my way. It was the fear. And I admitted this a long time ago. It's like, it's scary as hell. That first step is... <coughs> Excuse me. The scariest thing, for any, for me, anyway, I can't speak for other people, but I was scared as hell on that, that first step. And I also thought it was going to be non-climactic because I have been where I am right now, standing up, doing the the wobble, and getting a foot ahead, a foot ahead, a little half-step thing without a bent knee at all. And I thought, okay, that's something. That's something. Just that's the starter. And I thought, okay, that's going to. I start there, but it's going to kill the um, the celebration at the moment that I actually start walking because I started small and I worked my way up and everybody can do that. And uh, th there is no build up. When your knee is bent, it's such a precarious feeling. It's um, when your prosthetic knee is bent, I should say. Because what limb you have left has to be in control of leveraging your entire body weight back into a position where the right leg engages and those s literal steps can you do it it's like maybe you have the muscle maybe you have the the ability and everything but it doesn't make anything about those first steps any less scary scared out of my mind but, I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it. And, and it's a game changer. Literal walking. That's, that's the last thing. That's the last. I, I've experienced the end of the previous step. And I have started the first step of the last phase of this. If I'm walking, I'm normal again. <laughs> That's a wonderful feeling. And, and a lot of people out there are going to have the luxury of that feeling. It's like a lot of people are just never gonna walk again. And, and that's horrifying. And I, I did find some solace in the idea that I can still get around in the wheelchair when I could or every step of the way I don't think for a minute that I didn't appreciate the freedom and the movement getting but when they told me I was going to be getting out of bed I was scared as hell and I was like how am I going to get from here to there they bring out this board in the hospital. And they say, here's your uh, transition slidey board. And I'm like, okay. 
and my right leg had been atrophying and muscle had been removed and it was just a useless thing. When I placed it on the floor I did that just as a, a marker that this is where I am and if I move too far this way or that way or the other way at least I could tell from what's on the floor using it as a thing using my right leg was this far off fantasy that was uh, that probably never going to happen again and it started happening again and I got into the chair the first time I felt like I was on a tightrope I felt like I was going to fall and in that condition I felt like I was going to be yeah, me, my concern I felt like I was going to be a huge burden pain in the ass they'd have to call in three guys to lift my fat ass back into the bed and try again in three weeks <sighs> once I got into that chair I, I had a, a similar feeling than when I walked I, I, I almost cried I was I felt liberated I felt something that seemed impossible a minute ago was done and that's pretty much how every element of recovery from the situation has been. What was impossible yesterday happens today. And what happens then turns into a chore. Because you have to build and work to make it better and stronger. And then after it's done being a chore, then it becomes a thing you do all the time. I've begun. I've taken the... Uh, what's... Two days ago was impossible. Yesterday, I did. And then... Today... I have to do it again. And it's gonna be a chore. It, it's gonna be a huge chore. It, I'm probably gonna have the same amount of fear. It's like, I did it once, but does that mean I can do it again? Maybe I'm sore. Maybe I'm fatigued. Maybe some there's other elements. It's like, do not get complacent. Do not get lazy. And, and um, think that it's going to be easy now. It's definitely going to be hard. But it's begun. Impossible has happened. And now it's just a chore. And after a while... It goes from being a chore to being a thing I do all the time. And it's begun. I'm exhilarated, but I also know I have to build on this. I can't, I, I can't let up now. I, I got my leg on at this moment had a horrible time sleeping last night, so I woke up at 2 p.m. today. But, we're still gonna kick ass, we're still gonna get it done. <sighs> Even if I'm up late again, I'm gonna be up late kicking ass. I just now noticed this. <laughs> Come on, that one, fuck. No. Oh yeah. Wish. Anyway, um, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go build on that. I just thought that was a moment for me that needed to be done.